bit of rosemary from our garden and vine there, and basil. These two go together. Again, you don't really need to do anything more than just kind of tear them once or twice, throw them in there. It's all, it's all just aromas. This goes great over polenta, pasta, any nice starch, potatoes even, gnocchi, anything like that. We just get a little brown on the chicken on both sides like this. Just a little bit like that. We're going to roast it for a good while after this. Like I said, about two hours. You really break it down. Um, if you're doing chicken breasts, you can do similar, but you really only want to put it in the oven uh, 15 minutes and just cook it through. It's going to break down a little in the oven because it's a darker meat. The idea. We're having in uh, white wine. This is Carmenier wine. It's a buttery Chardonnay. And a little bit of poultry stock. This is a house-made stock that we make. Um, you can use a packaged one or, you know, um, any sort of stock. Or you can also just use a well-seasoned water with a little you know, a little bit of onions in there or something, a vegetable stock would work. If you are using a chicken stock you buy, it's gonna have a lot more salt, whereas when you make it yourself, there's no salt. And you have the salty olives, so you don't really need to, this, the olives are seasoning the dish, so you don't really need to add a uh, salty stock, just a flavorful one. That's it. Um, if you're cooking this at home for two or three people, you can just simmer it on the stove. If you're cooking it for a group of people, then you throw it in the oven for two hours, and it's about like that. That's it. It's a really simple dish. Um, it's all just about the aromas and the olives and the meat. Uh, and that's it. Again, hustle from the vine. Come up, get a taste. That's it.